The Dwarf 2 and then the Dwarf 3 both feature 8 megapixel sensors. The Dwarf 2 has the Sony IMX415 Starvis, which should allow me to transmit 4K video if I can render the display of the Dwarf onto the big screen, since uh, there is no tablet that will carry the full 4K. So let me start by launching the app on a tablet. This is screen copy. I have Dwarf Lab. I'm going to launch it. And uh, before I connect, I want to make sure that my connection settings have station mode turned off and activate Wi-Fi at startup turned on. And I'm going to open the Wi-Fi tab to see when Dwarf Lab or Dwarf will appear here. Let me turn it on. Turned on the Dwarf. Waiting for it to show up as one of the Wi-Fi hotspots. And as soon as it shows up, I will hit uh, connect on both the Wi-Fi as well as the device itself. It is trying. Connect. Connect Dwarf. Let's see what happened here. And there is Dwarf. I'm going to connect to it as well. Connection successful. So as soon as my Wi-Fi connects, as soon as the laptop's Wi-Fi connects to the Dwarf, I'm going to launch the Dwarf app into the Windows subsystem for Android and see if I can launch it on a big monitor. We are connected. So I'm going to go to Dwarf Lab. As you can see, it is in the start menu. And here it is. I am launching it on the big monitor under the Windows subsystem for Android. Photo. It connected automatically. I did not need to do anything. And uh, I want to go full screen, which is going to require rescaling the screen itself. And there we are. As you can tell, the wide angle or the inset, whether it's the wide angle or the regular screen, is extremely tiny. And the controls on the side, on both sides, are very, very small, simply because we're going with the full 8 megapixel resolution here, the full 4K. So there we go. Let me see if I can focus on the clouds for a second. And we have focused on the cloud for better or for worse. And there you go. Dwarf 2 being displayed at full 4K resolution onto a 4K monitor. So long.